Fine, I'll take the Rad's R. Send me a link to the Rad's R. I will literally do the autism test right now. All right, I got the Rad's R. Let's go. I'm doing an autism test on stream. I need to prove that I am not autistic once again. All right, let's see. Look, people have been asking. I, I had a Discord conversation with someone who doxed several of the mods on Twitch and helped dox my family. And people have been sharing the, people have been sharing the screenshots out of context. The one thing, and it's really weird that they somehow managed to take the Nazi who terrorized well over a dozen, probably far more trans people, and used it to attack me. But at one point, I lost my shit, and I called the Kiwi Farms user an ableist slur. And people are trying to use this that, oh, I can't believe you, Keffels, that you would call the Kiwi Farm neo-Nazi that terrorizes trans people and their families an ableist slur. And my reaction to that is, if you cannot show me even the smallest grain of sympathy that I am not allowed to lose my temper at someone who has deeply hurt me, and engaged in intense amounts of harassment against me, my family, and my community for months, I don't think of you as a good person. I don't think you're worth answering to. That's basically how I respond to that. It didn't even like feel like it deserved a response. Like, I am a human being. I can only take so much abuse before I snap. And I don't like when I get to that point, I try to avoid it, but people go to extreme lengths to push my buttons. Was that a Bilbo? Yeah, Bilbo's and laser disc are like having a little scuffle. All right, let's see. Uh, autism testing time. Okay. I am a sympathetic person. True now when I was young. I often... Oh my god, Bilbo! Laser disc. I don't know how to get them to stop. Uh, I gotta steal Bilbo for Canada. It's gonna happen. I'm taking Bilbo back. I often use words and phrases from movies and television in conversations. True now when I was young. Often surprised when others tell me I've been rude. Um, true only when I was younger than 16. Yeah. Sometimes I talk too softly or too loudly. I'm not aware of it. True. Often don't know how to act in social situations. Only when I was like younger than 16. I feel like I got the hang of it. Um, like I, I'm pretty good in social situations. The only social situation that I felt like I really flubbed recently was I was like out having a cigarette and this Irish lady approached me to have a conversation and I couldn't understand literally anything she was saying. And I didn't know like how to get out of the situation because she was speaking too fast and her accent was too thick. And I was just like, yep. And it was like nodding. And I was like, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. And eventually I think she realized I couldn't understand what she was saying and she left. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't, I can put myself in other shoes. Um, I feel the answer is weird. It's like, sometimes I really can. And sometimes I can't like, I feel like it's, it's easier for me to do it if it's a situation I've personally experienced, but there are some situations where I feel like I, I cannot relate and I rely on them trying to tell me their experiences. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say true, but yeah. I have a hard time figuring out what phrases means like you are the apple in my eyes. No, I only like to talk to people who share my special interests. Yes, that is actually true. That was true when I was young. That is true now. Focus on details rather than the overall idea. Yes. I always notice how food feels in my mouth. Nope. I miss my best friends or family when we are apart for a long time. And see, this this test is making me feel like an asshole because it's actually like, no, like I do, but it's never like really much, you know? Um, sometimes I offend others by saying what I'm thinking, even if I don't mean to. Yes. As you can see from this stream, very true. Hey, tough cookie, you're looking a little nervous. There's something you're hiding. By the way, to prove to me that you are a real woman, go to the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Um, how, do you, how do you respond to that? 
you are not in the same house as me. If I go to the kitchen and make a sandwich, I'm going to eat the sandwich. You're not going to take the, you're not going to get the sandwich. You're not in Ireland. You're in my Twitch chat. That's a silly chatter. Okay. I only e like to think and talk about a few things that interest me. Pretty much true. Sometimes I get like really hyper focused. Like I find something, I get fixated on it for a while. And then it's like I get bored of it and then I stop thinking about it. Um, I'd rather go out, eat in a restaurant by myself than with someone I know. Nope. Not true. Can't, I cannot imagine what it'd be like to be someone else. Um, yes, actually. Yes. I have been told I am clumsier on Kenora. True. Others consider me odd. Chat, am I odd or different? I need, I need People a quick, it on some, some help. Am I odd or different? I don't know. No? Yes? No? All right, we need to pull this. We need to pull this so the people with social anxiety in chat don't feel like I'm going to ban them for saying yes. 85%? All right. Yes. I understand when friends need to be comforted. True. I am very sensitive to the way my clothes feel when I touch them. Nope. I like to copy the way certain people speak and act. Yes. I used to do that a lot when I was a teenager. Like, I would watch, like, old political speeches. Like, I would watch, like, um like Harvey Milk speeches and Fred Hampton and Malcolm X and stuff. And Lana I would like apples gave try and copy the rhetoric gal, and like the speaking style because I thought that that was like really impactful when you're trying to talk about politics. It can be very intimidating for me to talk to more than one person at the same time. Uh, no. Work on copying cadence. I don't even know what cadence is. Speed of my talk. True. That's true. Um, I have to act normal to please other people. <laughs> never, I will never act normal. I will never act normal. Meeting new people is usually easy for me. Yeah. I get highly confused when someone interrupts me when I'm talking about something I'm very interested in. Um, yes. Wait. Yes. It's difficult for me to understand how other people are feeling when we are talking. Um, see, it's like the questions are black and white. Like, I feel like it's 50-50. Like, I feel like... At least half the time I can tell, but then other people are like more stone faced. Like I can't, I can't read their faces. So I don't, I don't know what the answer is. Hmm. I'm going to say true. I'm just going to say true. Uh, even when I was young, I like having a conversation with several people around dinner table. Yes, but only true now. No, true when I was young too. I take things too literally. Okay. You know what? I would have said no, but there have been so many times when chat was joking and I had no idea. Like, I just thought that, like, they were being serious and, like, harassing me when they were actually mimicking chuds. So, yes. Yes, that is, that is true. It's very difficult for me to understand when someone's embarrassed. No, I, I usually get that. Ordinary, I don't have any texture. Wait, some ordinary textures that do not bother feel very, yes. Okay, this is weird. I've never, I don't think I've ever said this on stream. I can't stand the texture of like sandpaper or broken porcelain. I don't even like looking at it in the same room. Like literally sends shivers down my spine. It's evil. Cannot have sandpaper or broken porcelain. Like if a coffee cup has like a chip in it, the texture is just like, yeah, nail files. No, no nail files. I get extremely upset when the way I like to do things is suddenly changed. Yes. That's true. I've been like kind of sad because I haven't been able to stream as much and like I'm so used to it. My whole life kind of feels thrown off when I can't stream. Um, never wanted or needed to have what other people call an intimate relationship. Um, I'm going to say true only now. Like I love being in a relationship. But I, I don't feel like it's a necessity for me. I like having someone to share my life with and like have shared experiences with. But I don't think that I necessarily need an intimate relationship. Is it difficult for me to start and stop a conversation? Need to keep going until I'm finished? Yes. I speak with a normal... Do I speak with a normal rhythm? Like, I don't know. There's so many questions I don't know the answer to. Yes. Yeah. Sort of. You love to talk normal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to say Yes. The same sound, color, or texture can suddenly change from very sensitive to very dull. Yes, that's true. Um, like, sometimes I really like being touched, and other times it's, like, way too sensitive. Like, I get touched, and I'm like, don't touch me. And I have no idea. You speak like you're hearing your vice through your headphones? What? Like you're hearing your... 
what does that mean? You, you speak like you're hearing your voice through your headphones, but I'm not even using headphones. <laughs> the phrase, I've got you under my skin, makes me, no. Sometimes the sound of a word or a high-pitched noise can be painful. Not really. I mean, it depends how high-pitched it is, but I think that's true for everyone. I mean, understanding, so true. I don't think it was true when I was a kid. I feel like when I was a kid, I didn't understand how other people worked at all. I felt like I was like an alien or something. I do not connect with characters in movies and cannot feel what they feel. Not true. Movies have made me cry. I cannot tell when someone is flirting with me. Not true. I can see in my mind in exact details, things that I am interested in. Yes. I keep lists of things that interest me, even when they have no practical use. Um, no, that's not true. When I feel overwhelmed by my senses, I have to isolate myself to shut them down. Yes, that is something like... Sometimes, like, the world is just, like, too overstimulating, and I just, like... Back in my old apartment, I'd have blackout curtains, and I would just go to my room, and no noises, not even a fan, just nothing. It's great. I wish I could live in a sensory deprivation tank. I like to talk things over with my friends. Basically, always, actually. Um, I cannot tell if someone is interested or bored with what I am saying. Never true, because I will make them... I will make them interested in what I'm saying. They will learn to love my special interests. It can be very hard to read someone's face, hand, body movements when they're talking. Nope. Same thing, like closer temperatures can feel very different at different times. Yes. I feel very comfortable with dating or being in social situations. Uh, true only now. Try to be as helpful as I can when other people tell me their personal problems. Um, yes. But not when I was younger. When I was younger, I was just like, I can't do this. Sorry. I've been told that I have an unusual voice. <sighs> I hate this one because it's like, I feel like I don't have an unusual voice. But people continuously tell me I have a monotone voice and I don't understand. Okay, you think my voice is fine. My voice sounds Canadian. Oh my God. It's a bit flat effect. See? People are just like constantly at this. They're just... You sound just like my friend from Vancouver. <laughs> Look, I, I, okay, I do. I have a little bit of a flat voice. Um, I have a weird, look, I do have a weird voice because um, I've had vocal feminization surgery. Like, basically, they, like, put a robot scope down your throat and they use a laser to thin out your vocal folds. So it's, like, my vocal folds, like, I can, I can go up to, like, a very high pitch, but at the same time, I don't voice train at all i don't care i feel like i have like a very tomboyish voice um see sometimes a thought or a subject gets stuck in my mind i have to talk about even if no one is interested yes i do certain things with my hands over and over again flapping twirling sticks strings yeah actually both yeah um i've never been interested in what most of the people i know consider interesting yeah that's true I am considered a compassionate type of person. You know, I consider myself a compassionate person, but I have to ask chat. You could be, be honest. I mean, I try. I get along with other people by following a set of specific rules that help me look normal. I mean, this is true, but isn't this true for everyone? I can like be friends with literally anyone, but I know how to talk to different groups of people, you Anything know? Is possible. I know how to talk to conservative boomers. Just as much as I know how to talk to Zoomers, I just like change the shit I talk about and the words that I use and how I approach. It's very difficult. You know, I'm going to say no because I feel like this is like different. You know, I feel like this is about like normal interaction. I'm just like talking about like a more like politicking sort of interaction. Like I've run for parliament. I've knocked on hundreds of doors. I've had to talk to like... 60 year old conservative voters about communism before it takes a lot of learning how to like mesh these ideas and like frame them in a way that seem palatable to people it's very difficult for me to work in functions group no my talk when i am talking to someone it is hard to change the Far subject the other person does so i can get very upset and confused um yeah true Actually, sometimes I have to cover my ears to block out painful noises like vacuum cleaners. Uh, no. Chad makes small talk. Um, true, but only now. Like when I was younger, I was not good at small talk. 
sometimes things that should feel painful are not. Mm, yeah, actually. When talking to someone, I have a hard time telling when it is my turn to talk or listen. No. Considered a loner by those who know me best. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I kind of like just do my own thing most of the time. I usually speak in a normal tone. What does that mean? What does normal tone mean? Okay. Um, yes. I like things to be exactly the same day after day and even small changes in routines upset me. Um, no. Far left shark asterisk gave asterisk mm, dark panther how to make friends socially asterisk no. asterisk It calms me to spin around or to rock in a chair when I'm feeling stressed. Yes, I'm actually doing that right now. As we speak. The phrase he wears a heart on his sleeve does not make sense. No, I kind of do that. A lot of people mistake me doing that for vulnerability and, they, and then they misjudge me. And it usually ends up an error on their part, like with Joshua Moon, where me being vulnerable is seen as a weakness, where it actually means that you are comfortable enough doing it. It's a strength. If I'm in a place where there are many smells, textures, feel anxious, no. I can tell when someone says one thing but means something else. Yes. I like to be myself as much as I can. Yep. I keep my thoughts stacked in memories like they're on filing cards, and I pick out the ones I need by looking through the stack and finding the right one. Um, what does this mean? I'm going to say maybe when I was younger. The same sound sometimes seems very loud or soft, even though I know it has not changed. No. Enjoy spending time eating, talking with my family and friends. Yes. Actually, true only now, not when I was a kid. I can't tolerate things I dislike. Oh, God, yeah. No, I can't. Can't do it. I don't like to be hugged or held. True only now, um, but it like kind of goes back and forth based on how sensitive I feel about touch. When I go somewhere, I have to follow a familiar route or I can get very confused and upset. Yes. Actually, when I was a kid too. It's difficult to figure out what other people expect of me. True. Yes. I like to have close friends. Yes. People tell me that I give too much detail. No. I'm often told that I ask embarrassing questions. No. I tend to point out other people's mistakes. No. Okay. Where am I at? 100. Okay. So if 25 is you are not autistic and 130 is uh, the mean score of autistic people, I'm in between stronger indicators of autism and having autism. I have at least, yeah, I have at least 100 autisms. <laughs> ADHD can cause this stuff too. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's like there are so many overlapping symptoms. I am autistic. You are 100% autistic. Thank you. You're presumably mildly autistic. Is that like, um, oh, sorry. I had an ADHD moment. I was about to ask, is that like those mild, like, spicy jerky sticks because i love those but that has nothing to do with what you just said i don't know why that was something that just came into my head uh, <laughs> i didn't beat the autism allegations